He's EDX Sports Extra. Before the break, we actually showed you guys how the Hazel Green Trojans cruised to yet another victory in the state title game. And now we have them joining us here today. We're here with head coach Tim Miller, Destiny, Marissa, and Jalen. How are you guys feeling? Huge win. Feels great. Feels great. Yeah. <laughs> so, girls, how does it feel winning back-to-back -back state titles? Amazing. Amazing? It's a great feeling. Yeah. How is, how is it playing under Coach Miller? We kind of know his history is kind of a big deal here at Alabama in high school basketball. What, it's like, what is it like playing for him? He's a tough coach. He's hard on us, but and then it's all worth it. So. It's intense, but he always brings out the best in you, so it's worth it. Now, Coach, I kind of want to ask you, what do you kind of credit your success to? You've won six state titles here in Alabama. Just what do you credit your success to? Well, I've been fortunate over my career to have good players, good kids, you know, that want to that buy in and, and, and do what we ask them to do on and off the court. When you get good kids and good parents and buy in, you win a bunch of basketball games. Yeah, and you guys didn't just beat the last team by a couple of points. You guys really put a look <laughs> on them. What kind of makes this team so special, maybe even different from teams in the past? Well, this group, all they heard from last spring and summer was we weren't going to be able to get back to the Final Four State Championship. So they had a chip on the shoulder all season long, wanting to prove everybody that they could do it themselves. They had a motto this year, this is our time. This is our time to two-peat, so every time we broke it down in a huddle, practice, before a game, halftime, after the game, that was our model, our, our time to peat And this young lady sitting right here would always say it as loud as she could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you guys did it. You did the two-peat. What does it feel like? You guys are all seniors, the only three seniors on the team. What does it feel like going out on top? It's great. I mean, that was that's our goal. So we just hope we can get it in. Now I know, Marissa, you were the MVP of the state tournament. So just tell me a little bit about your performance. Just not even in the state title game, but just throughout the whole tournament itself. Um, it's like having a team like I do to support me. It always makes it easier just to go out and do my best. And they're always behind me whether I do good or do bad. So. It was comforting to know I had a team behind me. So, Coach, just tell me a little bit about how proud you are of this team. And I mean, you still have, these are your only three seniors, so but, years to come, seems like the future's pretty bright for you guys. Well, they were already talking in the locker room after the game, you know, the ones coming back. You know, these, these three are telling the rest of them, hey, I got to go do it again. So, you know, they're already talking about that again. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. We got some good kids coming back. It's going to lay it out there just like these, these young ladies did. So. It's going to be fun to see. Are you going to load up the schedule like you did this year? <laughs> that was that was the toughest schedule I've ever had as a head coach, you know, what we put them through. So I wanted to put them through that just to test them as much as we could for our run in the playoffs. Yeah. When so I, it, 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 was, it was fun to watch. I was going to say, yeah, when I t tell everybody about your story, I kind of talk about the caliber of teams you guys played throughout the regular season and how tough it was. As players, tell me a little bit about what that schedule was like and even before the preseason, looking at the schedule, kind of what was going through your head? We knew it was going to be tough with the teams that we had to play, but we just knew we had to play hard. So it always kept us on our toes and let us know we could never relax or be stagnant or content where we were. It helped us keep getting better. And Coach was saying that he was doing that in hopes of preparing you guys for the playoffs. I'm, it didn't help. <laughs> Pay it off, right? <laughs> Well, Coach, anything else you want to add? Oh, no, I'm just proud of these young ladies. I'm proud uh, for the for the, our whole program, our school, uh, everybody who supported us. You know, it's, just, it's been a great, great season. It's been very enjoyable. Thank you, Coach and girls, for joining me today. All right, that does it for this segment of WZDX Sports Extra. But stay with us. We'll be right back.